If you haven't started Carnivore yet, why not? What are you waiting for? It's time to get started right now. But when you are getting started with Carnivore, it can be difficult for you to stick to this way of eating initially. So in this video, I'm going to give you that one essential secret that you need to stay on track with Carnivore. And you can use this secret to keep you on track if you're getting started with Carnivore now or if you're restarting Carnivore after a break. So before we get into this secret, let me just say one of the things that we need to do with Carnivore is take it out of the regular frame of dieting. Now, the regular frame of dieting, especially when you're starting it just as the new year has commenced, you know, it's part of your new year's resolution. The focus is very much on diet is doing without. Diet is about hardship. Diet is about starvation. Diet is about saying no to things that you really want to say yes to. But with Carnivore, we really need to change the frame because it's not like your regular style of diet. And at the end of this video, I'm going to let you in on a really important piece of information you need to remember if you are going to reframe this correctly. But anyway, on to this essential secret that is going to keep you on Carnivore no matter what. And what we're going to do is we are going to focus on only today. So on a regular diet, you're all motivated, you've just got started, you've been eating okay for the first few hours of the day, you sit down for lunch or you sit down for dinner and you suddenly have this thought, how am I going to do this forever? How am I going to stick to this way of eating forever? And that thought usually comes to your mind as you're putting this lettuce leaf that's not very satiating into your mouth or you're eating that last little bit of the tiny piece of chicken breast that you had with your veggies for dinner. And so one of the things that we're going to do with carnivore, whilst you will never get the most extreme feelings of can I do this forever because it's a much more satiating way of eating, we're going to take it out of that frame of this has to be forever. What we're going to do is we're just going to focus on today. We're just going to focus on day one. We're just going to focus on getting through day one without going off carnivore. And the important thing about this is this is part of a process of building your resolve. Just focusing on one day. You've only got to focus on 24 hours and nothing beyond that. You don't have to think about tomorrow. You don't have to think about, oh, I'm going to have to eat eggs and beef again tomorrow or anything like that. All you need to focus on is, I just need to get through today. And this begins a process of making your new way of eating more long term by focusing on repetition and reinforcement. And when you get through day one and you've done that successfully and you wake up on day two, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel better in yourself because you haven't had junk to eat the day before. But also you're going to feel better in yourself because you'll have this feeling of accomplishment. Like, I did it. I got through that day. I got through it. And that's that little bit of reinforcement that you need. It's only a little bit, but it's a little bit of reinforcement. And now all we need to do is focus on day two. We just need to focus now on getting through day two without going off carnivore. And this begins the repetition. So now we have the repetition. We have the repeated actions just getting through today. Just getting through today without going off carnivore. And each morning you're going to get that little bit more reinforcement because you get more of that feeling of accomplishment. Okay, I've done it. Wow. Today, this is two days I've gone and I've stayed on carnivore the whole time. And this repetition and reinforcement builds and builds and builds. It's like that little snowball rolling down the mountain that eventually gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, bigger. and speaking of reinforcement, one thing that I want you to do that's going to help with that reinforcement is to keep a log. And this log is to help you understand and compare how you're feeling from day to day. So when you wake up on day one, okay, so day one, you're just about to start doing carnivore for the first time. I want you to write down how you're feeling. And you can categorize this so it's easy to understand and refer to. So you could have categories like pain, and then you can write 
back pain as I stood up, knee pain as I tried to stand up, um, arm pain as I rolled over when the alarm went off, something like that, right? So you're going to write down all the pain points and then you might talk about uh, how you're feeling or how your mind is and you might feel like, confused state as I woke up or foggy start didn't get out of bed for 15 minutes just lay and looked at the ceiling for 15 minutes or something like that and everything that you experience in that first you know 10 to 15 minutes till you're actually out of the bedroom I want you to write those things down on day one and then on day two you're going to do the same exercise again and you're going to compare Okay, well, how did I feel? I wasn't feeling foggy anymore. You know, I, I got out of the bedroom within three minutes this morning or I, I quickly jumped out of bed or whatever it happens to be or the pain wasn't quite so bad in my back as I got up. And each day you're going to keep a log. And, you know, you might get to the point where you've got back pain and you're just giving it a score or knee pain and you're just giving it a score or um, whatever it is. These things act as extra reinforcement every single day so that you are going to stay on track. So earlier in this video, I talked about how a regular diet, especially at this time of the year, is all about a feeling of lack or a feeling of starvation or a feeling of restricting yourself or depriving yourself or it's never going to be the same again. How am I going to stick to this diet? This is a nightmare. So what we need to do in our reframe is we need to focus on how carnivore is not about a lack. Carnivore is only about a lack of one thing, junk, processed junk. That's all it's about a lack of. It's not about a lack of food that's going to keep you satiated. So you don't need to feel like, oh, I'm going to go to bed hungry tonight or I'm not going to feel satisfied after we've eaten dinner at the restaurant with my friends because I can only eat lettuce leaves or something like that. You are going to eat as much as you want. If you want to have five steaks, have five steaks. Just eat until you are comfortably full and then you're done. It's so much easier. So the important thing to remember when you're reframing this way of eating as different to all the other kind of diets that you could be doing out there it's not about lack or deprivation or starvation or feeling unsatisfied. It's very, very satisfying. There is only a lack of one thing on this diet, and that is garbage. And if you want to discover how hard they'll work to keep this information from you, check out this video next.